accepted Louise as a helper for this video. Basically, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday it was the grand final of the Eurovision Song Contest 2021. <laughs> I am very bad and stinky caca. So is she. What did you do? I don't know what happened. <laughs> You just got rid of the um scores. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, okay. This oh, well. my time. What the hell? Anyway. <laughs> well, at the beginning of May, I did a video of like what I think would be the top five Eurovision Grand Final songs. Like, yeah, top five. And um. Just a quick disclaimer, or just, just, um, can't speak, um, quick thing, I was very, very wrong with that list. Um, um let's start, <laughs> you're taking way too long, it's already about ah. a minute and a half. Nah, okay, so, um, I didn't prepare. So, first, Let's just say which kind of which kind of got in the finals. Like if any one of my songs that I put are in the finals and um yep, yeah, all of them were in the finals. So yeah. It's hard. <laughs> and um wait. And wait. It's already three thirty. What? I feel like I woke up like an hour ago. You did. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, well, basically, I was, yeah, I was very, very wrong with that list. Not close. And, uh, I guess, I guess first we can say I mean, we could just say the top six for now, I guess, and... But the results! Okay, I'm just... No. Gonna... <laughs> so... I will say, um... I will say first... Let me do a quick first recap of what, what I wrote on the paper. Um, like, at the beginning of May. So, 5th place I put Lithuania, 4th place I put Finland, 3rd place I put Malta, 2nd place I put Iceland, and 1st place I put Sweden. Yeah, I know I was a bit, I was, I was very wrong with the 1st place one, <laughs> and just in general with everything, but I don't know, I, I could just think, you know. And um, yeah, Lithuania, Finland, Malta, Iceland, Sweden. I'm sad how bad texted. Anyway, what am I here for? Um, just maybe helping me with what, like which places they got. Okay, so why? Well, let's start. So, then. at fifth place, I put Lithuania, and can you tell me what place they got in? Eighth place. Eighth place. Um, you were close. it's it's still you were close with most of these. Yeah. Except for Sweden. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I was actually, I was actually very happy with the Lithuanian entry because, like, it was literally one of my favorite entries this year. And fourth, Finland. Which place did Finland get in? Six. Six. Yes, and I put it at fourth. Still, also very close, and it's in top ten, and I really liked it. Yep. <laughs> Wait, Mal Malta. First of all, I was. So so, like, I was super surprised of Malta barely getting any, like, televotes, kind of. Or, like, the public votes, another way how to say it. And I was just surprised about that, because, like, it's overrated. And I was surprised I only got, like, 63rd. Nah. I think you got, like, 40 points or something. 47 yeah. points for the televotes. Uh-huh, thank you. 47. And how many of the jury votes? 208. Oh, wow. And Malta, you put in third place. Yeah. You've gone seventh place. And, oh, uh, yeah, I'm honestly quite happy because I didn't even like them. 
Mo how do you even say like Malta? What? Molten Mol Mol Malta song. Just Mal say that. Yeah. <laughs> Malta song. I was I didn't really like it, so Yeah. I was happy that I didn't even get that high. Um, Iceland, I am so sad. And You like, were close. I mean, yes, I was close too, but like uh, this was such a good opportunity for Iceland. <sighs> and it got in fourth place. And she chose second place. Yes. The the jury votes the jury votes gave it Jury votes? Mm hmm. 198. 198. That's good. And. The, oh, it's literally a can. Sure, it's a prop. No, you weren't supposed to say that. It's a prop. It's a prop, you know, I'm drinking it. Yep. <laughs> you see, you can hear. And from the televotes, it got around. Like 200. How much? 200. What? Well, 180. 180. Same thing. 180 points it got from the it total. It was far total. from getting to third place, though. Like yeah. 50 points or something. Yeah, I'm sad because of that. Like I, like I said, it was such a nice opportunity for Iceland to win. Yeah, but I don't really care. I don't really care about this one. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... First, let's not say the winner yet but uh first i want to say i put i put sweden as number one and what place does sweden get in oh 14th place <laughs> 14th place yeah yes and it only had all together 109 points and like the winner had like somewhere like 500 points. 470? Yeah. For it, let's just not say it yet. And uh, how, how many from the public and jury votes? So, jury votes, 46. And public televotes or whatever, 63. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> That's kind of, kind of sad in a way, honestly, because I'm so salty about Latvia getting lost place in the semifinals, <laughs> meaning they did the worst in this year's Eurovision. What's that? Like, I don't care. Poor little Latvia. I genuinely don't get it. Like, well, what? Lol. Um. And. <clears throat> now. Australia also did pretty bad. Anyway. Now I will say that, um, fifth place. Actually, instead of Lithu instead of Lithuania, it was actually Ukraine. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, Ukraine. I like that song a lot. <laughs> Me too. It's so vibey. Like when you hear it, it kind of like actually no, that's kind of just our friendly. Like if like in winter we just go like this, but. Whatever. I I'm actually very happy, honestly. It, it's all it's almost as you good. You shut this video out a lot. Anyway, bye. No, what? No. I'm leaving at least. Oh hey. god, I accidentally had TikTok on the whole time. I've watched this video like eight times now. <laughs> I mean, it's about Eurovision, so I mean that's cool. I'm very happy with the winner. How are you? What do you th guys think about the winner? I haven't even told them, and can you leave? Oh. And. <clears throat> like like I said, Lithuania got eighth place, and I put it at fifth place, and Ukraine was fifth place, with three hundred and sixty four points, two hundred sixty seven from the from the televotes, and ninety seven from the jury. <laughs> Fourth place, uh, but yeah, you know Iceland already. I'm still sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ding dong. Yeah, yeah, ding dong. After this video, please play. Yeah, yeah, ding dong. I can, I can tell a little. When there was the jury builders, um, yeah, from the, 
from the story of Fire Saga, it's a movie basically of just Eurovision, kind of, and there was this one man, kind of, just like, It's hard to explain. Just basically, Ya Ya Ding Dong is just the song, and everyone sing was like, the person was like, the the singer was saying like, hey, who wants to hear some Eurovision songs? And everyone in the crowd were like, no, Ya Ya Ding Dong, Ya Ya Ding Dong, and um, yeah, Ya Ya Ding Dong just kind of just became an inside joke of Eurovision. Any Eurovision person knows Ya Ya Ding Dong. So hear Eurovision song. <laughs> show me a TikTok about Eurovision and um yeah <coughs> third place uh third place was actually so please leave if you're not gonna do anything then leave <laughs> um what third place up in Malta and it was Switzerland uh don't eat you Univers, it's French and it means the universe. And um, that was actually almost the winner. Let's see, the televotes gave uh, 165, and the jury votes gave it 267. That's a lot of points, and altogether it was 432 points. Second place, I put <laughs> poor Iceland. Such a good opportunity. I just keep saying. Second place was uh, I put Iceland, and it was actually France. Voila. Um. Yeah. There you go. And uh, the 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 televotes gave it. 251 points and the jury gave it 248 and altogether it went it was like 499 one point to get a good 500 number and that was the second place i wasn't even such a fan of the song but hey i mean i'll still keep it and now the moment you've all been waiting for the winner of the Eurovision song, song Contest 2021, aka 2021, was... Ah, 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 ah. Yes, and that was Italy! Yeah! Pizza! <laughs> we actually in the evening just had pizza, kind of. Not even just because of the Italy performance just for something to have while watching. We, so we had like pizza, popcorn, like salad, and like juices and everything. Yeah, it was crazy. Italy won that year with 206 points from the jury votes and 318 points from the televotes and from the public. And altogether it got, it had 524 points. Like that's, that's a lot, dude. That's a lot. And uh, I think the most points, like most, like the winner with the most points was um, like 2017 kind of Eurovision person. I don't know why I did this. I uh, got like 700 points and this has 500 points. Like that's a lot. My sis, honestly, for, then I, now I can a little explain uh, third place Switzerland. Um, it was it was kind of so close because like so all like we needed to know Switzerland's like public votes and like if it got like more than like two hundred and fifty eight, I think I remember or something, then it will be the winner. But but yeah, it got like one hundred and eighty five points. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so. Yep, it Italy won. Quick little clip of it happening. From the public.
Yep, it was honestly my my sister's favorite, not Louie's that is literally right next to me, but my big sister's favorite and fa kind of like favorite entries was like Italy, like she really liked Switzerland, like Ukraine and Iceland, and like Italy and Switzerland were literally like both of them come up in the winter, so she had a lucky year, I'll say, but <clears throat> I mean, yeah, good for her, I guess. Um. The band. Can I? No. Uh, the name of the band that won Italy was uh, a Man Maniskin. Maniskin. I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah. And her. Do you know what it means? No. It's some kind of Danish name. Moonlight. It means moonlight. Oh. Okay. Moonlight, because one member, the bassist, <laughs> the bassist is literally the best. Um, she's actually like half Danish, kind of, and she said like some random like Danish words, and uh, yeah, they made the name out of it. And the song is is in Italian. It's called like Zitti e Buoni or something like that. Italy and Finland, there was a huge gap between. I mean. Finland got six and Italy got first, but they both were rock songs. Like if you think about, it, they were both rock songs. So <clears throat> yeah, and I guess <laughs> I mean we. Per I personally liked honestly the Finnish rock, the Finnish rock song more than the Italian, but like it's kind of it's kind of like. Like, it's not even such a big surprise because every other person was like, Italy, yes, I'm just going to vote for so it wins. And you got 11% chance of winning, so, yeah. The the public, like, just went crazy. And at the end, it just won. So, yeah, that basically is. So... So let me say the real answers, but not with this stupid paper, what I stinky kaka wrote. <laughs> so fifth place was was Ukraine with 364 points. Fourth was Iceland with 378 points. Third place was Switzerland with 432 points. Second place was France with 499. Let's say 500 with 500 points. And Italy first place had 524 points. And it was so surprising. Like, I mean, <clears throat> some other things. The <laughs> Now, I, I just want to quickly a bit explain more about uh, last night. Kind of. The, <laughs> the four, like, lost countries, kind of. Well, t like, the last place was the UK. Second to last was Germany, the 24th, third to last was Spain, and fourth to last was Netherlands, because, I mean, yeah. And they all, actually, from the public, got zero points, and even the UK that got in last place, it got zero from the jury, too, so all together... They just had zero points, which is kind of funny. There was just a clip of him, like, yes! Like, I mean, he, he is now basically famous, I guess. So I could say that he got completely zero points. Clip again. And Germany! Yeah, it's kind of funny. And uh, then the same with Germany, Spain, and Netherlands got zero points. I was actually surprised. I mean, first of all, Germany, I thought it would at least get like three points. Like, it has a very nice message. I don't feel hate. But the song kind of, I mean, a lot kind of ruined it. Uh, third to last was Spain, also with zero points, which I was quite surprised. Altogether, I like six points. And yeah, it's kind of, kind of surprising. Honestly, not even such a bad song, but I guess, 
But I guess just people try to vote for the top countries. And then there's Netherlands, how I call it the broccoli song. It also got zero points. We're doing an end of the video. I have things to show you. Well, be patient. Was the San Marino, which was which was people's <laughs> favorite, actually, it got in twenty second, and it only got thirteen point. point. Oh wow, that little. Yeah, like, it was like everyone's favorite, and it only got thirteen points from the public. Wait, um, are you talking about Tex? I didn't hear. No, I'm talking about San Marino. Oh, oh, ew, no. <laughs> Sorry, San Marino, you teeny baby, you teeny baby country. It's literally the size of this little letter. And, uh, yeah, I was very surprised because it was basically everyone's favourite. And, yeah, all together got 15 points and it didn't really kill so well. And, I mean... Yeah, I I might talk in a diff in another video about like more what happened, but now like Louise is kind of getting impatient with her TikToks. I'll maybe in a different video I'll make uh, not all the countries that didn't qualify plus Latvia. Um, I didn't even like that Latvian song that much, but I'll talk in a different video maybe about more. See you. Um, I don't know. I don't know when I, when I record, just randomly when I have time and even maybe see you in summer. Yay. Okay, so see you later. Bye. bye. Say bye bye.